Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to <clears throat> hide and password a particular, particular file, document, image, song, wheel, whatever you're trying to protect from prying eyes. You're going to create this batch file. Uh, to access this batch file you can view it in the, the details below and you're going to select all of this by pressing Control A and then press Control C on your keyboard and that's the same as going to edit control A control C you're going to be selecting all and then copying it and open up a new notepad and paste it right here by pressing control V or edit paste okay but we'll come back to that that's how you create the batch file and then you save it somewhere wherever you plan on having the next step open up the hidden file that's where you would save this at. So, in this case, I'm going to save it uh, on my desktop. Now, but for this test, I've created this test folder just to show you that's where I saved it in the test folder in here I click and it says enter the password the password is 123 and then this hidden folder would open up you click your folder there's your files you're trying to hide boom bam okay when you're done double click are you sure you want to lock it back down yes it's gonna go away and it's hidden and you're good but someone can come in and edit your batch file by right clicking and choose an edit and your password is within the batch file right here in two spots this is where you need to create your password before you save your changes after you press control A, control C and you open up a new pad before you save the changes and save it where you're going to save it create yourself your, your own unique password in these two spots right here you have to enter it and when you save your changes for instance if you enter the wrong password there's last chance to enter password and if you do, do it wrong again it goes away well if you want to hint to your unique password just change this string right here where it says echo leave that there echo means to say something you know and you save your changes and I'm saving it here. So now, when I hit enter the wrong password, what is your date? That's just a hint. Now it's not asking you for to answer the hint. It's just reminding you of. So now it's at one, two, three, and then the folder opens up. Okay. When you're done, close it, lock it back down. Now what we need to do, you need to have your batch file like you want it and satisfied with your right password and your right hint that you want to remind yourself before you do the next step because we need to change this batch file to an executable file so that no one can come in right click and edit and view your password or you'll be defeating the purpose so you're going to download a program called bat to exe you can get it off of download.com and it's free and once you download and run it bat to exe this will pop up and open up and it's going to ask you where is that batch file at and you're going to in this test folder there it is and it's going to change it from a batch file to an executable file and if you want a program on top of it to ask for a password then you enter it here let's choose four five six and then we're going to click compile and exit out of it it's just that simple now this vault this a batch file you don't need it anymore you can save it somewhere you know throw it throw it in your cut and paste put it put it to somewhere where you can retrieve it if you ever need it but you probably won't need it again now but in this case I'm gonna just delete it because I don't really need it now when I click this and I, I can't right click and edit it anymore because it's an executable file so now when I run the program it's going to ask me for that 456 
the one we created within the program. So I got to go through two passwords in order at one, two, three, in order to access that folder. Even though you'll go over here, organize files and folders, view, show hidden files and folders. That's selected, even though it's saying show it. This next step, you won't see it, even though it's saying like you see it now. I'm locking it back down. Four, five, six. One, two, three. Yes, and it's gone. But what we want to do is stop someone from, like, say, deleting this. They delete that. Now you can't access your file to get to your file or your folder. Okay, so what we need to do is this. Go to Command Prompt. Wherever you, in this case, is going to be the test folder we're using. We're going to change the directory. CD space C colon users public test folder. And then you're going to type this. ATT RIB space plus H space plus S. Now once you hit enter and have it typed just like that, this information is wherever you save that. Wherever you save this is what this needs to say. Wherever you saved it. And you can view that if you want it to right here. Okay? But going back once you hit enter, that file is going to go away. Well, it didn't go away because I had it minimized, so let's do it again. and it's gone <clears throat> and it's going to stay gone because even if you have folder show hidden files and folders it's going to stay gone I didn't have a page refresh but it's 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 there but you don't see it because of what we did earlier right here so to access that you go type att rib space and change those pluses to minus and then that file will appear back okay so if if you want you can go through three indefinite layers of locking down a file but that's a way to hide the file that needs a password to access the password to access your file and I hope that helps or explains it thanks for watching Good luck.